Ever since she was a little girl, Lee Softley has loved to read. She is now the Chief Justice of the Maine Supreme Court. Before that, she was a lawyer arguing cases in courts across the state, then a district court judge and a superior court judge. Which, given her love of reading, made us wonder about something. Can you now read legal thrillers, crime fiction, oh. detective stories, and enjoy them, or do you just roll your <laughs> eyes because you say, this is implausible? My kids went through a period of time where they loved the show Law and Order, and I would literally scream <laughs> in the middle. Uh, and they would say to, to a defendant sitting across the table who says, I want to talk to a lawyer, they would pound the table and say, you'll get a lawyer when you tell us what you did. So, so uh, the answer is B. I, um, uh, very few entertainment pieces get it right. And that's actually one of our frustrations. So um, if, you, if you ever have the sad opportunity to be home during the day and see things like <laughs> Judge Judy. The television judiciary. It is, uh, so I, I have heard about it for years, but after, uh, I had about three days after the first surgery where I was home and I said, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, it can't be as bad as they say it is. Oh, it's horrible. It's, it's unbelievably uh, frustrating. And the way uh, some of the judges talk to the litigants is so disrespectful and rude. You say no, I say yes, I'm here, you're there. Wake up in the morning, you say I would like to be her, you're not me, so I win and you don't. And then of course the litigants start engaging in all that too. So they will have seen this on television and come to court. And, uh, and we want to know, you're, that's entertainment. This is a courthouse. We don't talk to each other like that. It's just not going to happen. So uh, not a big fan. Your Honor, I'm going to introduce People's Exhibit A. <coughs> ah! Clearly, uh. being the Chief Justice of the state of Maine has its perks. Tell me the story okay. behind that photo. So uh, one of my very good friends, when he learned that uh, I had been diagnosed with breast cancer, sent a note to the Kraft administration and Bill Belichick and said, the Chief Justice is an enormous Patriots fan, and that is absolutely true. I am, uh, I'm still grieving the fact that Butler's leaving, so, but we won't go there. So <laughs> he, sent a, uh, he sent a note, and, uh, and in the note he indicated, you know, Tom Brady's mother was uh, also going through treatment. And he said, if you could just, just send her some uh, stickers or something, it will cheer her up. And uh, he didn't tell me he had done this. And this arrived in the mail. Whenever I get thinking, oh, it's a, it's a tough day, I, I'm just uh, absolutely tickled. It's, it's an amazing thing, just an amazing thing. <laughs> she, she is a real Patriots fan. <laughs> Clearly, no, yeah. No kidding, no exaggeration, no role playing there. Uh, she was diagnosed with breast cancer last year. I asked how she's doing. She says she is doing great. That's good to hear, yeah. The first part of our conversation with Chief Justice Softley in which she talked about being a sales clerk at the surplus store in Portland and at the ladies lingerie department at Jordan Marsh ran last night on 207. That was also very lively. Yep, Quite yep. a conversation. That was, that was good <laughs> stuff too. So if you missed that, you can check it out on our website or on our mobile app.